Okay, major spoilers for One Piece Chapter 1083. Dragon says that the Revolutionary Army's true battle won't begin until the world government mobilizes God's Knights. Now in the silhouette for God's Knights standing front and center is a figure who looks exactly like Shanks. And I mean exactly. Like sometimes with silhouettes we have to squint and tilt our heads in order to come up with a theory on who it is and sometimes Oda purposely makes it vague enough to give himself room to change the design later on if he wants, but not this time. This is a Shanks silhouette. Now I don't believe this is Shanks. Most of the fans I've seen don't either. I mean it could be since Dragon says that he's waiting for God's Knights to be mobilized which could mean that they are free to travel around the world but will come together immediately if the Gorosei call them together kind of like a more loyal elite version of the warlord system if this is the case then yes Shanks could possibly be both a holy knight and a Yonko at the same time but personally I doubt this is how the knights operate I don't feel like this is a gig that can be pulled off as a part-time job plus would Shanks even have needed to steal the sun god Nika fruit if he were one of God's knights? Wouldn't he outrank the marines and essentially be able to roll up and be like stand down, I'll be responsible for the fruit from now on? So obviously, the next idea and major theory is that this is one of Shanks' relatives. Either his father, brother, uncle, or cousin twice removed. There is a large possibility that this could be the case. From the moment he popped up and was granted an audience with the Gorosei, many of us have felt that he must have some celestial dragon blood floating around in his veins. After all, when the Gorosei agree to meet with him, they tell him pretty much the same thing Sengoku says at Marineford, which is, we wouldn't usually do this, but because it's you, we'll make the exception. And the way this presented always felt less like they were speaking from a place of personal respect for Shanks as an individual and more like they were speaking from a place of respect for who he was connected to. Kind of like when Kuzan first met Luffy and he was conflicted because he was like, uh, you're a criminal and I should do everything in my power to stop you, but I really, really, really respect your grandfather. Plus. Film Red has done more than any other One Piece story to hint at Shanks being a celestial dragon. With it being revealed that he was found as a baby inside of a treasure chest that Roger and Rayleigh found at God Valley. Also, it is heavily implied that Shanks' last name may be Figurlin. Since in the film, the Gorosei are talking about Uta, who they believe to be Shanks' biological daughter, and they say that she could be a member of the Figurlin family. This would also give new meaning to Whitebeard's line that the scar that that guy gave him aches whenever he sees Shanks. At first, when he said that guy, I thought he was talking about Roger. But since Whitebeard and Roger were friendly rivals and Shanks looks nothing like him, that can't be it. Since then, I've always believed that he was talking about Rox and that Rox was Shanks' father and looked just like him. Frankly, I still kind of believe that theory, but if Shanks is related to a holy knight who could have been at God Valley and scarred Whitebeard, then that would fit too. Here's the biggest thing though. A fan once asked Oda if Shanks was two people, since he was able to intercept Kaido and then get to Marine Forward so fast. Instead of saying no or talking around the answer like he does sometimes, Oda censored his answer, essentially pleading the fifth, which highly suggests that there may have been some truth to the question. I know that the Egghead arc in meeting Vegapunk has given rise to clone peace where we think that everyone is a clone, but if ever there was a candidate, I'd say that Shanks is one in this situation. Either with the Holy Knight being the real Shanks and ours essentially being a failed copy that still became powerful like Sanji did. Or Shanks could be the original and the Holy Knight clone could basically be the pacifista version of him. Also, it's super cliche, but he could have...
an evil twin. With Shanks rising to be one of the strongest pirates on the seas, just below Pirate King, and his brother becoming one of the strongest celestial dragons in the Holy Land, right below Eam. Now I'm going to wrap this up by saying that the first time we heard the term the Holy Knights or God's Knights was when Akainu was telling Kizaru that in Mary Jua, God's Knights are the ones who settle all disputes among celestial dragons, which I assume implies that they are a class between regular celestial dragons and the Gorosei, possibly acting as law enforcement for nobles. Now, if Shanks is connected in any way, then him ending the Paramount War would be top tier foreshadowing since God's Knights are responsible for ending disputes in Mary Jua, and it would definitely give deeper men to Sengoku's line that he would only end the war and allow Shanks to bury Ace and Whitebeard because of who Shanks was.